Hi there, I wanted to introduce you to a new uh, program that I found for organizing your digital scrapbook supplies on a Mac. I uh, recently made the move over to a Mac from a PC and I've been looking for a program to use um, for tagging my scrapbook supplies. I have a pretty large stash and I wanted to be able to um, find items very specifically. Um, occasionally I scrapbook outside of um, kits and outside of my CT responsibilities and I want to be able to, if I have a red flower, be able to find a red flower specifically. So let's see, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, when you open up the interface for Leap, this is Leap, L-E-A-P. I found it in the Mac App Store. It's not um, an app for the iPhone or the iPad. It's specifically for a Mac. Um, again, it's called Leap, L-E-A-P. It is uh, fairly affordable. It's $19.99, which I was very excited about. So the first thing I want to show you is the interface is very similar to your Finder window. And um, let me first tell you about how I organize my digital kits. I keep them on an external hard drive. I keep them in a folder called Digital Kits. And um, then it's then broken down by either the store name or the designer and by the kit name. I try and keep all of my kits um, within their kit name within that folder so that um, it makes it easier for credits and for just being able to find things. So I'm going to navigate now to that folder. When I search my supplies, the more specific you're able to be in that folder, uh, the quicker you will be able to pull up everything that's in that folder. So I'm going to navigate to my external hard drive. I'm going to navigate to the folder called Digital Kits. And within that, I have um, quite a few folders. Now, I want to be able to search through the content of each folder. I want it to be able to um, go deep into the file. So what I will do is go to All Files, Deep. It goes within each and every folder. Um, Let's see. So the first thing you would do is navigate. The second thing you would do is make sure that you pull up all files. And then over here, this window lets you pull up file types. So if I were looking for pattern paper, I would only pull up the JPEGs. If I were looking for something like a frame, I would pull up the PNG images. Another thing that you can do is pull up the uh, brush files, the ABR files. These will not show the individual brushes, but it will show you the folder and the names. Um, I had used previously ACDC, so this does not have those capabilities of being able to view the individual brushes. So this left pane will show you all of the available tags still searching for them, but there's uh, quite a few tags that I've already tagged. Um, let's see. So this second window right now shows you um, your folder structure, and then when you search more specifically, your results will come up in this window. So let's go ahead and search for something. So I've um, cataloged quite a few frames. So I'm going to click on frame and it'll pull up within digital kits every single frame. If I want to be even more specific, if I want kits by creations, it shows me that I have 532 frames from creations. And let's see, it gives me all of those results. Um, within here, it shows you each folder, um, how many frames are within each folder. So I'm going to click on Creations, 
There's 532. And I'm not sure. Let's see. Is it showing me on those? Okay, there we go. Um, by clicking on that 532. Then within each kit, there's, um, let's see, her Bliss kit has two frames in it. So I can go that specifically. Now, if I wanted to um, do a search without a tag, I can remove this tag. And say I wanted to find something within Creations, and I want to find all of her tape. Oops. I want to find all of the tape. So now it's going to go through within this folder and find me every piece of tape that she has. So right now these are in the Newport kit. So there's two of them there. So I'm going to click on these. Now I can add tags to um, individual tape. So I'm going to go ahead and add, if I click right below the file name where it says add tags, it gives me um, the ability to add multiple tags. So I'm going to tag this as a piece of tape. And I'm also going to tag it um, patterned. And it looks a bit like the washi tape that's out there that's pretty popular. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in as well. So now that's tagged and it has those three available tags. So now I'm going to go back and go back, um, go up through creations and I'm going to search for tape, for my tags for tape. And now that shows up. I've also tagged a few other items. So I tagged this with tape, torn, craft. I tagged, uh, tagged this one with tape and masking. So if I wanted to then find just washi tape, I would add that tag and only this would show up. Um, I'm going to show you a program in just a little bit that helps you work more with colors. But if you want to, within this frame, you could also add blue and it would pull up only blue tape. So now if I want to go up even higher, I can go just to that digital kits file and it'll pull up. I don't have anything tagged, so I'm going to take these tags off. And I'm going to search for a keyword of tape. And it pulls up every bit of tape that's in there, that it has um, the word tape in the file name. And it'll keep searching, there's still quite a bit more. Um, now these tags will also carry over into the other program that I'm going to show you called Deep. So um, this would be a really, it will be a really great system to find um, whatever you're looking for as far as tags. It'll help you get really specific in finding exactly what you're looking for. If you're looking for that red flower, then you can go through and find only red flowers or flowers with buttons, and etc. Another thing that is really uh, nice is you have the ability to only find untagged items. That comes in handy when you've already tagged um, half of your supplies and you only want to find the items that have not yet been tagged. It'll pull that up and you can tag them the remainder. Or if you only want to see items that have been tagged, you can do that as well. Um, so this is just a brief introduction to um, the program LEAP, L-E-A-P, in the Mac App Store and how you can use it to tag your digital scrapbooking supplies. I hope this has been very helpful and um, helps solve a problem that for me was a huge problem being able to find my supplies. Thanks and have a great day.